Dr. Beth Bonacci. We're on the campus of Concordia University in Irvine, California to talk to the students about sex, about love, about dating, about abstinence. So often when we talk about abstinence, we just focus on the negatives, on all the bad things that can happen, the pregnancies, the diseases, AIDS. We're going to talk about something different today. We're going to talk about love. We're going to talk about relationships. We're going to talk about finding and living real love without the risks that are inherent in sexual activity. Come join us. So how many of you have been to a high school prom? Or like a spring formal or something like that? Most of you. So now tell me, was it the wonderful romantic event that you expected it to be? No. You daydreamed about it for months in advance, right? It was going to be the defining event of your life. Right? And you were going to be so good looking. You were going to be the best looking couple. And whoever your date was, whoever he was, whoever she was, was going to be perfect. Right? You didn't know who they were necessarily. Or maybe you did. But they were going to do everything right. They were going to say everything right. They were going to be there for you. They would be so good looking. And when you stepped out of the limousine, it would be like going to the Oscars, right? And all the lights are on you and all the eyes are on you because you're the only ones there who actually went out and rent tuxes and bought dresses and had your hair done. So then the big evening comes and you, you, you spend a ton of money either renting a limo and renting a tux or buying a dress and having your hair done and then your hair isn't done quite the way you want. Or Ms. Wonderful says something stupid in the first five minutes. And little by little this wonderful romantic evening starts to kind of crumble a little bit. And by halfway through, I'm going to have a romantic night but you're a jerk because you said <laughs> This was going to be the best night of my life, and I spent $500 for a romance. <laughs> then usually, and this is especially true at high school proms, you got to stay out all night, right? Just leaving at the end of the dance isn't enough. You've got to stay out all night. And then usually, some kind of discussion comes, out about, uh, comes up about sexuality. As in, well, we've got to do it. It's prom night. 